Are you ready? Fuck yeah, I'm ready. I'm the Wolverine. Hey there, comic book fan. So, you've heard the rumors about Deadpool and Wolverine being a multiverse extravaganza, right? And that it's packed with more Wolverines than you can shake a stick at? Well, it's true. They're throwing a Wolverine party in that movie, and you're invited. Welcome back to your nerdy show. I'm your host, Logan. And if you haven't watched the movie yet, then please watch it before going into this video, because there will be many spoilers. Imagine Deadpool hopping from one universe to another, stumbling upon different versions of Logan. It's like a Wolverine buffet. There's Old Man Logan, looking all grizzled and badass. Then there's Patch, the suave spy version with an eye patch. And let's not forget the classic brown and yellow suit Wolverine, a total throwback to the comics. It's a wild ride, and if you're a die-hard Wolverine fan, you're gonna have a blast spotting all the different versions of your favorite Claude mute. But don't worry if you're not a comic book expert, the movie does a great job of explaining who's who. Logan. Oh man, that opening scene was something else, huh? I mean, Ryan Reynolds totally lied about leaving Logan alone. Not only did he dig up the grave, but he basically turned it into a macabre dance party. Can you imagine the guts it took to do that? I mean, it's one thing to make a joke, but desecrating a beloved character's final resting place is a whole different level of crazy. And to top it off, they didn't even give us a healing factor tease or anything. Just a plain old dead Wolverine. Talk about a cold shower. What did you think of that whole sequence? I'm still processing it. Superman is now Wolverine. Holy moly, that Henry Cavill as Wolverine cameo was insane, right? I mean, who saw that coming? It was like a wet dream for DC fans turned Marvel fans. The guy looks like he was born to play Wolverine. All those years of bulking up for Superman finally paid off. And let's not forget that epic Deadpool burn about DC's treatment of him. That was pure gold. It was almost like a little screw you to the DCEU, you know? I'm still buzzing about that cigar-smoking, badass Wolverine. It's like they took everything we loved about Cavill and smashed them together. What did you think of his performance? Old Man Logan. Okay, so I'm staring at this older Wolverine dude, and he's giving me serious Clint Eastwood vibes. I mean, the squint, the weathered face, the whole cowboy getup. It's like someone said, let's make Wolverine a gritty Western hero. But then I see this modern car in his junkyard, and I'm like, hold on a second, is this Old Man Logan in disguise? I guess it's possible. Maybe he's gone full-on hermit and decided to channel his inner Dirty Harry. Or maybe this is some alternate timeline where Wolverine became a cowboy before he was a mutant. Either way, it's a weird mix of badass and confusing. Crucified Wolverine. Can you believe the nightmare I just woke up from? Or maybe I didn't. I mean, seriously? A world made of skulls and rain? Talk about a downer. And then there I am, strung up like a pinata on a giant yellow X. I'm telling you, it's like someone took the creepiest comic cover ever and turned it into reality. You know that classic Sylvester cover for Uncanny X-Men hash 251? The one where I'm crucified? Yeah, that. Except in my dream, it was way more real. Like, I could feel the nails, and the rain was freezing. And get this, I could almost hear Deadpool cracking jokes about the whole thing. Can you imagine that? The merc with a mouth watching me get my ass handed to me, probably making some wisecrack about my hair or something? Talk about adding insult to injury. Patch Patch was such a cool callback to the comics, wasn't it? Hugh Jackman totally nailed that suave spy vibe. I mean, the guy can do anything. From grizzled old man to sophisticated gambler, he's got it all covered. And can we talk about that eye patch? It was such a classic comic book look. It's like they pulled Patch straight out of the pages and onto the big screen. I'm still trying to figure out if Deadpool was more jealous of the eye patch or the white suit. What did you think of that whole scene? Was it a highlight for you too? Worst Wolverine man, that's a pretty heavy backstory for Wolverine. It's a far cry from the classic badass hero we're used to seeing. This is Wolverine at his lowest, huh? A broken, self-loathing guy who's drowning his sorrows in alcohol. It's a risky move, but it could be really interesting to see Deadpool interact with this side of Logan. I mean, Deadpool's all about humor and irreverence, but he also has a soft spot for his friends. Could be a great dynamic. I'm curious to see how they handle this version of Wolverine. Do you think he'll eventually find redemption, or is he doomed to be the worst Wolverine forever. Just back from comic. That short, Wolverine was hilarious, right? I mean, they really leaned into the comic book accuracy there. It was a bold move, and it totally paid off. Seeing Hugh Jackman, this towering figure, shrunk down to a mere mortal size was just absurdly funny. It's like they were mocking all those fans who've been complaining about Wolverine's height for years. Here you go, they said. Enjoy your short King Wolverine. 
Did you catch Deadpool's reaction? It was priceless. And there was a one-handed Wolverine just back from Age of Apocalypse. And there's another, the first variant audiences see with a comic accurate costume. And it's the classic yellow and brown outfit that was designed by John Byrne when he arrived on the X-Men scene back in the 80s. So it was crazy ride, folks. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Till the next video, bye-bye and take care. Breen's over 40. You don't want this. Unless you want to take a deep breath through your fucking forehead. I no, what the heck? I'll laugh anyway. <laughs>